Fanconi anemia, or FA for short, is a rare genetic disorder that affects the body's ability to repair damaged DNA. For cells to function properly, DNA needs to remain intact in order to pass on or express genetic information. Unfortunately, DNA damage is common, and it happens all the time due to toxic substances from cell metabolism and environmental factors like cigarette smoke or radiation. Luckily, cells have specific DNA repair mechanisms that try to fix this damage and prevent too many DNA mutations from occurring. In FA, a network of proteins responsible for DNA repair and integrity don't work properly, allowing damage to pile up. Affected cells either die or accumulate too many DNA mutations, increasing the risk of cancer, especially leukemia and tumors. Because FA affects cells during early development, most individuals have congenital birth defects, including a short stature, missing thumbs, kidney problems, and skin changes like cafe au lait spots. In cases where these signs aren't apparent, diagnosis tends to be delayed until the development of bone marrow failure, which is one of the most common features of FA. Bone marrow failure usually occurs in childhood or early adulthood, when the bone marrow stops producing enough blood cells, leading to low levels of red blood cells, white blood cells, and platelets. This results in severe complications, including an increased risk of life-threatening anemia, infections, and bleeding problems. Individuals with FA also have a high risk of developing myelodysplastic syndrome, a bone marrow disorder that can progress to acute leukemia. They also have a higher risk of developing tumors at an earlier age than the general population, especially in the head, neck, and pelvic areas. Diagnosis of Fanconi anemia is suspected in individuals with unexplained bone marrow failure and associated birth defects. Diagnosis can be confirmed with a chromosome breakage test, a blood test that assesses chromosomal instability. If the chromosome breakage test is positive, genetic testing may be done to identify the mutated FA gene and determine if family members carry the same mutation. Additional tests may include a bone marrow biopsy and cancer screening tests for early tumor detection. Now, a bone marrow transplant from a compatible donor is the only curative treatment for Fanconi anemia. In cases where a bone marrow transplant isn't possible, supportive treatment may include red blood cell and platelet transfusions, as well as growth factors to help increase cell counts. In cases where an individual isn't a good candidate for bone marrow transplant, Hormone therapy may be considered to increase and stimulate the production of stem cells in the bone marrow. Individuals may also need antibiotics if they develop an infection. All individuals may be recommended regular cancer screenings, as well as avoiding DNA-damaging agents like smoking or excessive radiation exposure. For the treatment of cancer, surgical removal is preferred, as defects in DNA repair can make individuals extremely sensitive to the effects of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. Although still not widely available, gene therapy may be available to correct the faulty FA gene in affected stem cells and prevent the progression of the condition. All right, as a quick recap, Fanconi anemia is a rare genetic syndrome characterized by bone marrow failure, congenital birth defects, and increased risk of leukemia and other types of cancer. Diagnosis can be confirmed using genetic testing. Treatment focuses on managing bone marrow failure, preventing complications, and reducing cancer risk with regular screenings.
helping current and future clinicians focus, learn, retain, and thrive. Learn more.